Hi, I'm Mike Keenan from KM Fitness, and today we're going to talk a little bit about metabolic syndrome. Now, the target area of metabolic syndrome seems to center around the thyroid, which isn't always necessarily true. What I want to do in the next five minutes is I want to try to explain why people come to us and they say, no matter what I do, I can't lose weight. And in some cases, we try to correct them and say, well, what you really mean to say is you can't lose stored body fat. And let me kind of show you how some of the systems all work together so we can help to accomplish that. We're going to start down here at the adrenal glands, okay? The adrenal glands control a lot of what happens in the body as far as either exciting us or slowing us down, okay? And the adrenal glands are directly affected by three things, nutrition, stress, and sleep, okay? If you have poor nutrition and lack of sleep, you're certainly going to increase your stress levels, okay? Now the stress hormones that the adrenal glands produce is epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, and norepinephrine, okay? And sometimes stress is good. For example, if you're walking down the pathway and it's 4000 BC and you run across the saber with two tiger, you got to get ready to run away or fight this off. So those stress hormones excited you, got you more alert, got you ready to fight or run, so they were necessary for preservation. But let's turn the clock ahead 4,000 years, and you're sitting in a boardroom, and you can't move, and you're having a tough time in a meeting, those same stress hormones are being secreted. The only difference between then and now is during a fight or flight response, you're going to be able to get rid of those stress hormones or dissipate those stress hormones. Meanwhile, while you're sitting in an office, there's no movement involvement, so those stress hormones continue to build and build. Okay? Uh, what are some of the other things that the adrenal glands uh, secrete other than the stress hormones? Well, also our healing compounds. And one of the healing compounds is testosterone. Women make testosterone in their adrenal glands, and testosterone is very, very important for tissue repair and for healing. Okay? So let's go up the chain. If the adrenal glands are overly stressed with poor nutrition, and by the way, the adrenal glands run on glucose or sugar. So if you're on a very chronic low calorie or low carbohydrate diet and you're not getting adequate glucose, your adrenal glands will start to shut down. And they'll come up to the brain and they'll say, I can't handle the lack of nutrients. I can't handle all the stress that I'm, I'm trying to accommodate. So therefore, I need to slow the process down. The brain says, I know how you feel. I feel the same way. I need glucose to function as well. And when the brain starts to get deprived of glucose, it's almost like depriving the brain of oxygen. Things start to slow down and start to get a little foggy. In the brain, in the brain stem is the hypothalamus. And this is one of the other centers in the body that helps to control weight. As a matter of fact, the hypothalamus has something called the weight regulating mechanism, okay? And it's affected by four things. Sugar balance, okay, brain and adrenals. Sugar balance is very cru crucial. Stress, exercise, proper exercise or lack of exercise, and also food chemicals and additives. So you can see how these things uh, affect you, the ability for you to lose weight or gain weight. So let's keep on this whole thought process that you're overly stressed, you're not getting enough sleep, and you have poor nutrition. The adrenals start to become dysfunctional, sends a message to the brain saying, I can't continue at this pace, something needs to change. The brain says, I agree. So it sends a message to the pituitary gland. Now, the pituitary gland, there's a couple things that are going on there that you need to know about. The first one is the pituitary gland secretes something called thyroid stimulating hormone, okay? And it also produces human growth hormone which again is one of our healing compounds. So you can kind of see where we're going here. If you're overly stressed, you're not be able to produce healing compounds at the adrenals, and you're also going to get a slowdown of your healing compounds uh, at the pituitary gland as well. But let's move on to the thyroid, which is the target tissue of thyroid stimulating hormone. If the thyroid is being stimulated less, it's like taking your foot off the accelerator or the gas pedal of your car. So the thyroid stops producing as much T4, which when it enters into the body becomes active as something as T3. Okay, so if this level starts to drop, we have poor nutrition, a lot of stress, T3 
can actually be converted into something called RT3, which actually slows down your metabolism. Okay? If you're running a million miles an hour and you don't have enough nutrients and enough sleep to continue to, to move properly and to uh, be able to function properly, the body has mechanisms to slow you down. I want you to think on this for a second. If you were sitting in a car and you only had about an hour's worth of gasoline left and you're stuck in a snowstorm, okay, and help wasn't going to come for eight hours, would you run the car for an hour until the gas runs out or would you try to start it, warm the car up, when it starts to warm up, shut the engine down. When it starts getting cold again, you might start the engine up again just to survive. Your body's trying to do the same thing. It's trying to conserve energy because it's not getting enough nutrients and it's not getting enough sleep to restore you. Okay? So, what, where does T3 become active in the body? What's its target area? T3's target area is the mitochondria of the, of the cells in your body. And it's in the mitochondria where your body converts the food you eat and the oxygen you breathe into a usable form of energy called ATP. Okay? Kind of like putting coal and water in a locomotive and creating steam. Steam is what drives the locomotive, not the water, not the coal, but the formation of steam. So it's the food you eat and the oxygen you breathe along with some very important things like T3 that help the mitochondria to provide the energy the body needs to, to use. So, if your mitochondria are getting low in number, they're not proliferating, they're becoming sluggish, okay? We call that metabolic machinery. So when someone comes to us and says, I want to lose all this weight in two weeks, our, our option, or our answer to them, quite frankly, is you can't because you've dismantled your metabolic machinery and when we tell you it's going to take 60 90 days just to see some change because we got to help you rebuild your metabolic machinery people look at us like we're crazy but now you have a better understanding of the systems that come into place and why it takes time to lose stored body fat so what's the correction in this that's why you're coming to us right Susan's going to work with you on nutrition so that your body has the fuel sources in order to help to rebuild the system. We're going to help to manage your stress. There may be days when you come in and you're done exercising and Susan might say to you, go home and take a warm bath with bath salts because we got to start getting these stress levels under control. Sleep is also very important uh, on a lot of levels and I just want to mention one thing. When you go to sleep, okay, your the cells of your brain actually shrink slightly to increase the amount of circulating um, cerebral sp uh, spinal fluid through the brain and it kind of backwashes your brain helps to detoxify which again will lower your stress load right so nutrition stress sleep and then of course the proper exercise we're going to teach you how to stimulate your fight-or-flight response and to get these adrenal hormones to fire we're going to get you breathless and burning so that we can increase the level of lactic acid, right? And lactic acid is the key that unlocks the door to the healing compounds. So it's the proper amount of exercise. Okay, I know that's a lot. Call Susan and I if you have questions. Send us an email. Find us on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Take care.